Have you ever been in a place where you knew that you were going to win? There was no way that you were going to lose. You either lined up against an opponent and you're like, Psh, these guys are too short or they're too slow or there's not enough of them or they're too young or whatever it might be. And you knew that you had the upper hand and no matter what, that you would be victorious. That's a great feeling to have, isn't it? Well, many times in our walk, I think we forget this. We have already won the battle. So many times we feel like we're being attacked and we're like, oh my goodness, the devil made me do it and there's demons and there's all these other things that are going on. And we forget that we have already won. See, the main gist of the book of Revelation is the fact that Satan can't win. He has no way to win because he's not on the level of God. So if you're feeling attacked even this week thinking, I can't do enough for God and I can't take that step for God because I'm feeling weighed down. I'm feeling beaten up. I'm feeling like I can't bring up anything about my faith. Know this, you've already won. The opponent loses because the devil is at one time an angel. And so he's on the same level as the angels. But you are a child of God and I am a child of God. And for those that don't know him, they can be a child of God. And at that point, you're in the palm of his hand and nothing can take you away from that. So as you read the book of Revelation, you're going to find Satan is going to lose and he is going to lose in a big way, which means that you and I are going to win in that same big way. That's something to hold on to.